The Pistons pull off a shocking decision. They part ways with Josh Smith, despite the fact that he was owed $27 million over the next two seasons. Now Detroit does this for two reasons, salary cap relief and to get past the Josh Smith chapter. Now he's going to have no shortage of suitors once he clears waivers on Wednesday. I think Houston at this point is the front runner, longtime friends with Dwight Howard who he grew up with in Atlanta, Sacramento, Dallas, Miami, a lot of other teams appear to be in the mix. We'll see what happens with Josh. Kobe Bryant is struggling, the Lakers keep losing, and Coach Byron Scott has a tough decision to make this week, one that he will certainly be talking to Kobe about. Kobe's shooting 37%, averaging around 35 minutes per game, is the first to tell you that he is absolutely exhausted. Fatigue setting in, and as he told me after a loss to Sacramento on Sunday night, concern about injury, concern about health. It seems like, as Byron said after that game, the idea of sitting Kobe down for one or two games at a time would be the smart way to go. Now that Rajon Rondo is a member of the Dallas Mavericks, the question is, are they going to be as good on the court as it seemed like they could be on paper? It looks like it's a great fit, but with Monte Ellis in that backcourt, are they going to click? Chandler Parsons, Dirk Nowitzki, Tyson Chandler, all those guys, I guarantee you quite a few teams around the NBA are hoping against hope that it doesn't go well, hoping that maybe this summer when Rajon is a free agent, that he thinks twice about re-signing in Dallas. Now make no mistake, the Mavs are extremely confident that Rondo is going nowhere. The Lakers, among other teams, would love for that not to be the case. The Brooklyn Nets are looking to shed salary, thinking about overhauling their roster and talking to a lot of teams around the league, but this Darren Williams to Sacramento situation is certainly worth watching. The Kings have DeMarcus Cousins, they have Rudy Gay, they feel like they're one big name player away from truly contending. The question of course is whether or not Darren is that guy. Now he's owed $43 million over the next two seasons, he's 30 years old. We'll see what happens here, but ironically if you're a Kings fan and you want this trade to happen, you should be hoping your team continues to lose games. I'm told that owner Vivek Ranadive is watching this group very closely before deciding whether or not he wants to take a risk like this. Reigning MVP Kevin Durant back on the shelf again has a right ankle sprain, the same foot that he broke leading into training camp, same foot that kept him out most of the season. This injury news has got to get old for the Thunder. They were just finding their way, had won seven games in a row since getting Kevin and Russell Westbrook back on the floor. Looked like the OKC of old. Now they've lost two out of three games. Not sure yet if Kevin will play on Tuesday against Portland. Big Western Conference showdown. Like always, they need Durant, they need Westbrook. We'll see what happens here.